All right, we finally got a little bit of sun. I'm not going to suggest it is bright sun, but I'll take it. Smoker ready to go. I'm gonna get into these uh, hives and see what kind of fun we can find. Busy time of the year, so I need to get the uh, hunting supers off. I need to start uh, feeding with uh, sugar water. And I also need to treat for mites. Gotta wash my beard so long now it uh, gets caught in the in zippers. Wanna have your, uh, your gloves on this time of year and be fully suited. I wear the full veil as opposed to just the jacket. Uh, these are defensive this time of year. That's the uh, queen excluder that you're seeing in there. A little bit of a foam that's broken off when I look the frames out. The roar of the bees. Okay, so there's my uh, honey super that I'm taking. I'm going to let them finish uh, capping that off and I'll fiber that in a few days. And then I got seven more colonies to do. Um, I'll just show you. I'm going to put the two uh, formic acid pro pads on here. And uh, they're not going to like that. If you think they're loud now, wait till you hear this. Okay, so uh, I didn't actually film the just opening the formic acid patties, but uh, basically that's what you want to do. I'm going to straighten those up a little bit. This was a double brood colony. The second brood box would go on top. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm putting an empty honey super just right above them. Like so. Queen excluder. And then I'm going to be putting my uh, honey supers back on. All right, so formic acid patties are already uh, on there. Uh, I've got an empty um, medium honey super on top to give them some space. And I'm just gonna feed them some uh, sugar water. That's the first, uh, first feeding of the season. Sugar water is uh, two to one this time of year. And I just use these uh, spacers in between the, uh, the inner cover. Just gives a little bit more room for that uh, sugar water. Now that's not a lot of uh, sugar water. Like I mentioned, uh, I couldn't get all of the sugar that I needed as of yet, so We'll be getting a lot more feed than that, but that'll get them started. Go bees. Took a lot longer, well, a little bit longer than expected. Um, the sun is almost down, and I got uh, all these hives taken care of. So eight treatments of formic acid pro. Um, I'll show you the uh, supers that I got. 
So these guys have both been treated. This one, um, what I did actually is I, um, I combined it with another uh, single hive and that other colony was queenless uh, about two and a half weeks ago. <clears throat> I uh, was giving them a chance to raise a new queen, but it's just, it's much too late in the season. So I just combined the two colonies. Um, they were both uh, weak and together they uh, should uh, pull together through the winter. This one was good. Well, they're all good. I'll just walk you through here. This is my harvest um, so far for the season. So one, two, three, four, five, is that right? Five, six. Uh, six boxes, they're not entirely filled, so let's call it 40 pounds a box, so you know, 240 pounds or so. This is my other uh, double colony, double brood box colony, and then uh, it's my single down there. So everybody's looking good. Um, I fed a couple of the weaker hives some sugar water and uh, I'll be back um, in a week's time to uh, start feeding heavily the rest of the bees and to give them their treatment for Oxytet, which uh, prevents American fowl brood. All right, that is it for me. I am done like the sun. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Happy uh, off-gridding. Cheers. Thank you.